And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to put text on a 3D object in Adobe Illustrator. What we need for that is obviously a 3D object and text. Under we have got the smart guides and snap to point only activated and I create a rectangle. Well let me make that 400 times 400. I could have also just left click on the canvas and then type in these values. So we've got a square of 400. Let me make that red. I'll copy that, so I'll hold Alt and use the selection tool to drag a copy out of it. And then I use the text tool and I create a text box that has close to the size of the square. Let me play a little bit around with the size. I'll make it regular as a style and I'll only make the top the line bold. So that should be fine, we can use that. Let me get rid of the square here. And now I'll need two more copies of this text. So once again, I hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. And I wanna align them differently. So one is set to the right side, and the other ones I wanna have set to the left. And now we gotta open our symbols menu, which is also this icon. And then just drag and drop the text inside of it. I call that right, make sure it's dynamic, and then click on OK. I'll repeat the process for the other two. Always just drag it into the symbols box, it's highlighted, then you can drop it. And that's the way to create these symbols. We need three, as I've said. Now select the square, go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. As an extrude draft, we want to have the same size as our width and height for the square. So 400 was it in this case. Make sure previous checked and then you can see what you're doing here. Now click on map art. And we can cycle through these six sides of the, of the cube right here from one to six and then select the symbols that we've created. So left, right and left two. So when you cycle through it, the side that you're working on is highlighted on your canvas. You can scale it to fit and you can rotate it and you can see it's adjusted in real time. Let me add the last side. I uh, should have called that left two, so that was my mistake. Don't worry about the names, it doesn't really make a difference here, but it was just my mistake. It's obviously left aligned and not right aligned, so... We've got what you want, you can make it invisible via checking the box, invisible geometry, and then click on OK. If you're not happy with the results, you can just double click on your symbols and then readjust them. For example, Use the type tool, I'll select it all and then play around with the distance between the lines or the distance between the letters, whatever you want to do here. When you've got what you wanted, just click on this arrow to the left, so it's at the top left and you can see it has been adjusted in real time. So always double click on your symbol, select what you've put on the 3D object. So in this case, the text with the type tool adjusted. And then click on the backwards arrow in the top left. And this is how you can put text on 3D objects in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.